Welcome to Tennessee. We're a little bit south of Nashville, down I-65. We're in Spring Hill, the town that I grew up in. We're in the old Spring Hill High School. It's a very scary building that was built in the 30s. I think it's abandoned-ish. But the doors were unlocked. We had some lights. We're hoping for the best. Summer is quickly approaching here in Tennessee. Although my favorite kind of Tennessee is still hanging on. No leaves on the trees, no clouds in the sky. And you'd be surprised if it gets above 60 degrees. The pace of life here is a little bit different during this phase. Tourism slowed down, football games are no more. Hashtag Netflix and chill. During this season, I don't really tour. I stay inside, I get inside of my own head, I play my guitar and I write songs. But I'm gonna be hopping back in that 15 passenger van, starting this spring, this summer, this fall, perpetually forever, going northeast, southeast, and various other directions. I just plug my iPhone in and go for the best. I was born in the mid 90s, I'm pretty terrible with maps. One day, I was writing a song with my friend Brooks Hubbard in my living room. And I desperately wanted to capture this feeling of the life of an adventure, the adventure of a lifetime. The speed bumps, the speeding tickets that you get along the way. The small sweet things. The welcome back to Tennessee sign passing you on your right. That is a tender and green feeling that never gets old. I live for those kinds of feelings. I try to see them and capture them every day and put music to them. I'm gonna perform the song for you and then after, I'm gonna show you how to maneuver it on the guitar. But if at any time during the performance it strikes a chord in you, just leave a comment. Let me know how you feel, what it makes you say. I'd love to read them. Thank you so much for listening. Ain't no other way I gotta leave this town Got a little dream that I'm gonna track down Up here it's cold but the sun does shine Down below Mason Dixon line Nothing left for me in this East Coast town not one soul like mine making a sound So I pack the truck, my life in a bag No time for goodbyes, no way to look back Proposition, new position Superstitious, disposition under southern trees Sweet taste in Tennessee well, In a southern breeze Sweet taste in Tennessee same it seems we're going 20 above feels slow to me mom says she worries of the snow and rain but i'm pulling in a paradise any day a proposition new position ambition kind of mission where the fields are green sweet taste in Tennessee a red cup of sweet tea sweet taste in Tennessee
Why float around with the lost and found? Well, every soul needs a roof, come sun down. Well, there's a country home with a cornbread moon. I'm gonna stay a while, gonna get there soon. Where the fields are green. So early in the mornings, I'll wake up, and I'll put on my slippers, I'll pick up my guitar, and without any judgment, I'll play something. And one morning, it happened to be this. That was the first thing I played. It had a southern gothic feel to it, but it also kind of had a vibe where it was like, from a VHS tape, that was in the attic, in a bin that you forgot about, but you're like, you're too afraid to open the bin because you think something's gonna jump out at you, so you, you some, send someone else to do it anyway. But that is what this felt like to me. And I loved it. I mean, I didn't even have to record it, I just remembered it. And I had a writing session with my friend Brooks a couple days later in my living room, and I played this for him. Hey man, you gotta hear this. I absolutely love this idea. <laughs> Man, I love that. And so then he started thumbing around on it. And then instantly, I did this. Do it one more time. It had like a liquidness and sounded like a rainbow you ask me. I just love that, you know, because my favorite riffs are like Sweet Child of Mine and things like that. Very colorful sounds. The hook came to me. Sweet taste in Tennessee. And we both stopped. Sign sealed and delivered. We loved it. The song was finished in maybe 15-20 minutes from there. Brooks took a great lead on the verses. And I finish up the choruses, and then with some slight edits to the melody and the lyrics into the iPhone voice memo Rolodex, it went. This was the guitar that I wrote the song on. It's like 400 bucks. I play a lot of dim lit places, if you will. And uh, having things that are a little bit too precious, yourself included, you can't be too fragile. Uh, will make things a little bit hard, so the cheaper the better. It's a Taylor GS Mini, my favorite acoustics in the world, hands down are uh, Taylor guitars, and the fact that I play one of their uh, cheapest, uh, most accessible models really speaks to their quality. They do not pay me to say this. I really know I love a song when it keeps on knocking at the door and it just doesn't seem to go away. One night I was playing a gig in Oxford, Mississippi at a place called Proud Larry's. It was my first time playing there and maybe you were there. And if you weren't, I'm probably coming back there very soon. I do about a 25 minute acoustic set during my full band live show. It's usually 90 to 120 minutes. And I finished a song that that I'd known very well. And I'd been thinking about Sweet Taste in Tennessee all day long. 
And I said, all right, Daniel, let's just go for it. And let's just try to give it a run. I'm kind of a sporadic person, and I try to live in the moment and accept the beauty and everything that's in front of me. And if it's not beauty, I try just to accept it and roll with it. That's what a good performer does. I start the song. Song's on beat. I go through the verse. The verse is on cue. Everything is great up until this bridge. <laughs> dynamic change that happened in this bridge, it took me off course, and I forgot the lyrics to the chorus. So, this kind of has a lot of tension. I'm just kind of holding on to this for 45 seconds, I'm looking at the neon signs around me trying to remember the lyrics or, or something. in the air, the hands were clapping, the glasses were making the noises that glasses make when they cling together, and it's louder than your guitar. It's quite a joyous sound, and I love moments like that. I've been playing for about 10 years now. I've done thousands of shows in my career. You can't tell by my age or the color of my hair but I know when something works on stage. And that moment really was what it is all about. Mutual discovery. And then I realized that this song is not about Tennessee or sweet tea. This is a song that's for anyone who has a home anywhere. And so I hope you can take this song and make it your own. Thank you so much for listening. It's coming. Oh my god, what's AI gonna do to China?